Oh, come on. Whoa, I'm gonna lose that bit of the steak. Hey guys, it's uh, Christian Stevenson, AKA DJ Barbecue. Today, we're gonna do a grilled veg and steak salad with lots of steak. I got this huge rump over here we're gonna grill, but first we gotta get the veg going. Uh, this is an ode to one of my favorite chefs out there, Neil Rankin, whose new book uh, just dropped. It's called Low and Slow. Anyway, uh, the veg. Let's get the veg on the grill and then we'll worry about the steaks. That won't take very long at all. So I got some eggplant. What? Okay, aubergine. Sorry to my friends over on the other side of the Atlantic. Plant. I, got, I got a rub here. Um, I use this on a recipe that we're doing. It's gonna take all day. You can see the smoke over there. That's a smoked lamb shank shepherd's pie. This is the rub I made from that. Salt, pepper, cayenne, paprika, onion granules, garlic granules, a bit of brown sugar. So we're gonna make it rain. And then I've got radicchio chicory. It's one of my favorite veg. Quite bitter, but I think when you grill it, it gets a really nice, kind of sweet caramelized flavor. It takes away some of the bitterness, but it is quite bitter. Get some of that on there. You guys go on as well. And I've also got some peppers I'm gonna rock. Get rid of the inside bits. I got a hot heat rocking over there. I don't wanna burn it. I got two zones over here, guys, so I can always stay safe. Direct, indirect. Don't wanna burn them, I just wanna get a nice caramelization rocking. Put those peppers in there. I got some onions. I'm gonna put one onion in. Dirty, straight into the coals. Dirty onion. And then I'll do another onion on the grill. I'm also gonna grill some tomatoes. And I got some peppers. I love spring onions on a grill, so these guys are gonna go on there as well. And I got some mushrooms. I'm just gonna give them a quick little season, some olive oil, and that lovely rub and then they go on, and a lemon. I'm gonna grill the lemon. More uh, outdoor barbecue flavor rocking. Now I'm gonna put the lid on. So now it's the turn of the steak. Bring in the protein, bring in the awesomeness to this dish. Loads of grilled veg, check it out, man. It's all doing its thing. I've got that char happening. They're softening up. They're gonna be beautiful. That Wood smoke flavor, I put some chunks of some orange wood and cherry wood in there to make some fresh charcoal. Now let's get the steak rocking. So, huge rump. I'm gonna lightly score it, okay? Just lightly score it. Get a bit of surface area on that. I wanna keep a lot of that fat down, because I, I want the fat to break down and flavor the meat. You see I got little fjords here. So I'm just lightly scoring this. My friend Neil Rankin showed me this. I think Adam Perry Lang's another guy who does this. And then, fox salt. That's right, I said, fox salt. I'm not cursing the salt, I'm saying what it is, <laughs> salt. I think I'm saying it right. Uh, this is a chipotle salt. Look at these big, huge flakes. Look at these guys, really big. And with those chipotle peppers in there, give them a bit of a mash up in my hand and then make it rain. Big flakes. And we'll finish it off with some normal sea salt. And I'm not gonna add any pepper until the end because pepper can Burn. See, I got a good medium hot heat rock in there. You ready for the sound of awesomeness? Yes. Okay, so the veg, the veg is good. I got some clean tongs. I'm gonna pull all that lovely veg off. Look at that. Beautiful, still nice and moist. So I've got more room on the grill for that steak because if it gets out of hand, I might want to move it to the indirect side. Move steak around, it's good for it. There's my onions, my scallion or spring onions. Got some tomatoes. I love mushrooms, nothing better than mushrooms on the grill. See, it's getting a bit crazy over there. Let's move it, I'm gonna flip it. Okay, so the steak, I want to keep an eye on it and I also want to cook it uh, medium rare. It's a nice aged rump. I'll show you how I'm gonna tell when it's done. You want to keep poking your meat. It doesn't need much time at all. So check this out. Press your thumb and your finger together, touch them, and then push in this little pocket. That's what the steak will feel like when you push it. It'll feel rare. That's medium, that's well done. Like this, rare. Medium, well done. So it's not lifting now. Sometimes the meat will stick to the metal. 
it will release and then it's time to, to go. You also want to make sure you have a clean grill. Um, a good wire brush, uh, onions, lemons, uh, vinegar, rub them on the grill. They're all great natural cleaning agents. She's done. She's about medium rare. This is where I want her. I'm going to move her to the indirect side and I'm going to hit it with some pepper. I still want that pepper to cook in. It is still cooking. And then I'm going to put the cover on the grill because what I want to happen now, I've got the outside to caramelize. I've got those proteins turn into sugars. It's a beautiful char I've got on the outside. I've got a nice little crust, but I want it to cook all the way through. Uh, I don't want it rare in the middle. I don't want it raw in the middle. I want it cooked. I want those fats to render down and flavor the meat. All right, she is done. Let's get her off the grill. Uh, I want her to rest because I want those juices to go back into the muscle. So I rest it for about half the amount of time that I've cooked it for. Um, and then I'll finish it off with some salt. So now let's get the veg all chopped up, and when that's rested, time to eat. Or as the French say, mange. All right, guys, so the steak is rested. Just finishing up chopping the veg, and let's get it all together. You can add corn, you can add courgettes. You know, add whatever you want, man. What's in that fridge, just grill it. Vegetables love a grill. They love some live fire. So don't be afraid to put your veg onto that cooker. So I'm just gonna hit it with a bit of olive oil from Hank, and then a bit of pepper, and some lovely sea salt. Now, it's that guy's turn. All right, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Let's get that picanha. That's the rump cap. That's like Brazil's favorite cut. Pull that off. Oh my gosh, look at that. Just blushing. Beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious sakes alive. This is gonna be incredible. Get this lovely steak onto the veg. That is perfect, man. Medium, just going towards medium rare, blushing, beautiful aged rump. And I'm just gonna finish this off with some grilled lemon. Oh yeah. Bro, this is how you look after your friends, you know? Steak's king, beef is royal. With some grilled veg, you get that barbecue vibe with a wonderful veg and steak medley. That's a party, that's a, that's a, a smorgasbord of beautiful grilled flavors, a cacophony of taste, party sensations. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Do you, do you have any idea what I'm talking about? You're just like, Christian, can you shut up and just let me eat? Yes, yeah, sorry. Okay. I'm gonna do the whole thing. A little veg, some mushroom. I'm going with my hands, okay? I don't care. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. That lovely freshness from the grilled veg with that savoriness from that beautiful aged rump steak. That is a feast fit for your whole family, your friends, your girlfriend, your girlfriend's parents. Man, if you're trying to impress the girlfriend, do that for the parents. Listen, I'm DJ Barbecue. Hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Here